What do you know? I ain't doing nothing. <laughs> Don't be laughing. Honey. <laughs> Amy Joe's helping me pull the motor. We uh, blew this dude up this past Monday. Um, I was waiting on my nephews to come help me, but that looks like it fell through. So I already wasted four days. So we're getting after it. Looks like we blew up every single hole. I'm not real sure how that's possible. The timing wasn't that aggressive. It's timing our run before. It didn't like something. I know it was getting meth because it poured out of the intake tube when I took the charge pipe off. Yeah, this thing's hosed. I don't know if the ECU brain farted and didn't pull timing. I sent it back to DIY because it was acting kind of iffy. And they said there's nothing wrong with it. Sent it back to me. And then it blew up. So... I'm not sure I believe that, but now I'm out an entire engine. I'd order a second MS3 Pro so I could compare it to the one I have that supposedly nothing's wrong with, but you know, then the engine blew up. So that's where we're at. Pulling the motor. We'll get more pictures of it here shortly. You having fun, babe? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we're picking pieces of piston out of the valley that were up in the intake manifold. Um, I'm not convinced this thing didn't hydraulic. Look at all that freaking meth and it's been sitting for four days. Uh, hang on. Alrighty, so you can see it. That's a nice puddle, ain't it? That's meth. I'm not real sure what we have happen here. Focus, you piece of crap. Oh, goodness, goodness. There we go. More meth. Hmm. All right. We'll get the heads off and see how bad it is. We found it. Cylinder eight. That's good right there. Piece of piston on the other head. Alrighty, update time on Little Red. Uh, the cam is here. And I was gonna use in the stroker if I ever got around to building it. Looks like now we're gonna get around to building it. It is not a turbo cam, as you can tell by looking at it. 248, 256 at 50. Uh, 621, 603 lift. Apologies for the shakiness. Um, 28 degrees of overlap, 112 LSA. So it's going to thump. And we'll see how it works on a turbo motor. It'll be fun. I've got, in typical wrecking yard fashion, I ordered me up an engine on Evil Bay, and then they canceled my order. Supposedly it didn't meet their quality control standards, which you'd think they'd have figured out before they listed it, but it is what it is. And the next day I saw it listed again, the exact same engine for $500 more. So I don't know what's up with that. It's awesome. <clears throat> so that was a bust. We did go ahead and order up a standard bore size L92 stroker kit for this, the Lenati. It's supposed to be good for 1400 horse. We will see. It's going to give me 10 and a half to one compression, which is probably pushing it with the boost. But the big cam's going to bleed off some cylinder pressure down low. And I want to put more meth in it. And we'll go from there. I just got to find another LY6. And we're probably going to go to the PTR Carbon. Big, awesome looking tunnel ram. And get another 10 pounds off the nose. Thought about doing an LY6. But I got, uh, what is that? Uh, 12 less cubic inches and another 100 pounds on the nose. With the iron block. And I just couldn't do it. I tried. So that's where we're at, man. We got parts coming. I don't know if we'll be running again this season or not. Because of the freaking snow. But that's where we're at. Hopefully you guys are having a good day and I'll talk to you later.